No, I fell back in December. I fell. I, I fell real bad. As I was, uh, was at home, I, was, I, f I fell in the shower. I was drunk. I was drinking in the shower. I drink in my shower. I drink in my shower. Not like I need to drink so much that it carries over. I wait for the shower. I choose to drink in the shower because everybody deserves a spa day in this world. And I'm glad you agree with me. Why is, it, why is it perfectly acceptable? Oh, drive out somewhere and go to a spa. And if you lay down in their establishment with rose petals and champagne, that's fine. But I do it vertically in my own home with a six pack on the back of the toilet for easy reach and I'm some sort of scumbag all of a sudden. <laughs> It's the one room you can be alone and naked and have a cocktail in. Every other room in your house has a, you know, a drink appointed to it. What are, you, on, are you on the porch? Have a mint julep on the porch. There. Oh, what are, you, what are you, in your living room? Have a sophisticated scotch or a snifter of brandy. What are you, in the garage, tinkering around with your motors? I have a beer in the garage. But oh, I'm gonna have something in the bathroom. Like, you should probably go to meetings. No, man, I don't <laughs> agree to that. I set it up. I have an event for myself. I have the drinks on the back of the toilet. Don't bring them in there with you. You don't need them that close. I have a waterproof Bluetooth speaker for the shower shelf. I put the iPod on shuffle in the other room, and I let Steve Jobs DJ my mood from beyond the grave. And he gets it right. All right, DJ Steve, that's the 160 gig model, 35,000 songs. I got about a nine ex roommate's libraries on there. What can you do for me? Five Motorhead tunes, then three Lionel Richie jams. Shit.